Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Celtic Career Mode, episode 21. We are into February, or February, February? I, don't, I say just like February, right? And I think that sounds right, so we're sticking with it. I know it's got an, Why am I talking about how February... Right, anyway, welcome to this episode. As you can see by the schedule, um, it's not too... It's not too difficult, it's not too challenging or, or massive in a sense. We'll just hope for decent performances and really the task for today would be to gather 12 out of 12 points. We're going to fly through the month of February which will lead us nicely into the month of March where in the next episode we will have our first cup final of the series which could get us European football for the first time in the career mode but February a big month I suppose in a sense that we should be winning all these games to take us in a good position in the league if we have a quick look at the league table I mean we are doing decent enough in the league we're sitting 10th it's been the draws that's costing us we need to cut out those draws today and make sure we pick up as many points as possible sitting on 32 points which means we are only four points away from Chelsea 10 points from the top of the table so anything really with only 22 games played anything is possible to be honest with you and in this second season we are knocking it out the park in the Premier League I would say I'm very happy with how things are going. In the last episode, I obviously brought us on to deadline day and I said, you know, there is a wee bit of money there to be spent if I go to the office. You know, £10 million is there to be spent. A few suggestions were thrown in. Our strongest team is exactly that right there. And right now, we don't need a first team uh, goalkeeper. We don't need first team fullbacks. We don't need first team centre backs at the minute. Um, we don't need any centre mids, I would say. Striker, we don't need. We maybe just need that wee bit of depth on the left hand side. That's the only place I can think of. But the player that I want, Masonda, we can't trigger this release clause right now which is making me just think we'll leave the left mids until uh, next season but one thing that did strike my mind and there was a lot of good suggestions for players that we could sign I really do appreciate them and also there's pre-contracts that we could check out um, but I don't know if we have enough you know, time to go out and, and try and find them but one man who I want to sign is this man but it seems I can't buy him just now I'd have to terminate the loan and I don't really want to risk that if we can't get him back so it is a bit risky. I would like to use the ten million maybe to bring in Rob Holden as our first team centre back moving forward, um, because he has got good potential in this game. So is it worth the risk? Do we terminate the loan of Rob Holden and try and bring him in on a pair? Oh, it's difficult. I do it. No, I'm not going to risk it. But we have ten million now. The question is, I just can't think of really anyone to buy. I mean, I can check through the comments of the last video if you give me a moment. Right, there's not really anyone in there that I should be, you know dying to go for so do you know what the 10 million is just going to lie there and hopefully it will carry on into the next season and the money is still there it might be a waste but there was there's one man who I just want to check by any chance to see on a pre-contract because if he was that would be very nice because he is an icon to us and he's still on the short list I doubt I very much doubt his contract is running out but it's worth a go to check because he is one man that will definitely be playing in our shop by the end of this career mode I don't care what age he is we are bringing him back. He was fantastic in FIFA 17. It was by far the best player of the career mode. We could go in for someone like Matthias De Ligt. We have a lot of old, you know, pe people were scouted here. I mean, nah, we don't, we don't really have enough, do we, for Goretzka's contracts not running out. There are f a few options here. You know, we could render off. I mean, they're still going to want a bit more money for him than what we can probably afford at the minute. James McLean, a lot of people want me to sign McLean. Do, do I do it for the sake of it? I mean, he's not really going to offer much moving forward. He's not got a lot of potential. Uh, Ryan Fraser? I mean, we could go for Fraser. I feel like it might be a bit of a waste, though, if I want Masson the next season. Um, Joe Gomez, still a shout. Do you know what? Let's just do it. Everybody's going to bang on about it, so let's get it done. We're going to sign James McLean. Where are you? Let's just do it. Well, that's that then. James McLean has officially... Are you happy now? Are you happy now? We have signed James McLean. There we go. He is now a Celtic player. Right then, uh, first game of the episode, we're going to stick to playing the away games in this episode. Obviously, four games we should be winning, so I feel more comfortable simming the home than away games, so we're going to stick to that. And we're going to play Redden in today's episode. As for the team, do you know what? We've just signed them. So, let's just, let's give him a game. Let's give him the start against uh, Redden here. Why not? We're going to start James McLean. And, uh, is it is it safe? Right, it's an error for changes. I clicked off that there. I think we're going to bring in Rob Holden, who's went up to 76 now. We've got some great centre-halves at this team, honestly. And Cham is going to come into the team. And Forrest is once again starting for the injured Roberts. Let's get into this game. Match number one then. I've got a bubble in my throat, so... Um, 
There we go, clear that out. We're at the Majeski, Majestic, whatever it's called, Redden Stadium anyway, one of the generic stadiums in the league sadly, as they were promoted from the Championship, obviously don't have their stadium in the game anyway, it was a game which I'm fully expecting us, led, led, led by Cap Captain Tierney, to, to go and win, really we should be going win here on straight away, Dembele, I love a wee ball for Forrest, Forrest decides to take that shot and bang. Brilliant finish from James Forrest and it's his second goal in a couple of episodes. He scored a topper at Old Trafford and he scored a really good goal here as well. Maybe James Forrest reminding us that he could be an option over Patrick Roberts. Uh, <coughs> some brilliant football there from him, a fantastic finish. And my voice seems to be going, it just seems to be dying on me. But look at this, delicious wee ball from Dembele. Defenders had no chance of beating Forrest to it. He has a lot of pace and a powerful strike behind the ball. I'm turning to Sean Deitch ever so slowly here. I'm, I'm so sorry about this, but you're going to have to deal with it. There we go. 1-0, <coughs> swelly on the game. Fantastic way to start off as we celebrate on the sideline. And James Forrest really is starting to press me a bit more. From how little we've used him, maybe he does deserve a bit more time. Anyway, that was the first goal eight minutes into the game. Red and then tried to get himself back into the game here with some nice passing. A nice wee move here. And look at this, brilliant chance. And he's missed from about six yards, seven yards out. And I don't understand how he's missed this. Look at it. What an awful miss. He's hurt the post from a, from about the six-yard line. Uh, incredible miss. Uh, Dembele gave the ball to James McLean. Who f lovely ball over Dembele. Falls in his arse. Falls to the ground like a sack of spuds. But a lovely, delicious wee chip ball over from McLean. And it could have been 2-0 through ball. And, you know, you'd think the defenders are Moses there. Part of the Red Sea is that they parted to let fucking this guy through. Red in one. Celtic one. I mean, the gap created. You could park a bus in. It was an appalling bit of defending from us. Don't know how it happened. And just before half time, Redden find himself back in the game. And just have a look again here. The way Rob Holden separates. Don't know how I managed to do that. I must have took control at the wrong time. And uh, Igbon, Igbon, something. Sixth goal of the season for him. And it was Redden 1. Celtic 1 into the second half. Now we're looking to take the lead back. Stuart Armstrong had a good chance curling it. But it's just wide from Sean Armstrong. Good way to start the second half. Though. Positive start. Kieran Tierney gives it to Davies. Davies gives it to Dembele. Or whoever it is. Dembele to James McLean. He skied it somehow. The brilliant passing and moving from our players. Leading to that. It was Dembele who played the final ball. It was enchanted Dembele. And then McLean misses that. Don't know how. 15 minutes on the clock to go. Armstrong gives it to James Forrest. A lovely bit of skill from Forrest there. Look at this. He's through one on one. Can't shoot. But no, he gives it to Odson Edward who comes on for Dembele and bags himself a goal. His fourth goal in two games. Remember, he scored that hat trick. Uh, he scored more. He scored. F Wait, actually, did he score? I don't know. He scored four maybe. So maybe his fifth goal in two games. Anyway, brilliant from Adzon Edward. Carrying over the form from the last episode. Getting himself a goal. Lovely football from Forrest. A lovely bit of skill to get by the Redden defenders. And the finish was... At first I thought I missed. And I was about to start crying. But it went in the back of the net. 2-1 up. 90th minute. Now we try and go and get a third goal. Odzon Edward looking for support. He has to go himself. No one really there at the minute. But there comes Cal McGregor. McGregor shoots low. Not enough power though. And it's a good... Pam away, trying to get back in, save from Vito Minoni again, right at death of the game here, Edouard flicks it back, Sinclair a wonderful cross for Forrest, poor connection, good save from Minoni I suppose, uh, but that was it, that was the end of the game, we could have scored another couple towards the end there, but a very dominating performance, feel like we deserve more goals, but sadly never got them, but it is a win and that's what matters. A good win there, it was a hard fought win but we were the better team at the end of the day and we deserved to get the three points with those three points. Sends us into a nice position, seventh in the table and if you look at that we are one point away from sitting third. Right now our season's going really well, I know where the draws can fault us leaving at that, I'm not bothered, I'm not overly bothered. The next game is up against Hull, a, t a team who we should be beating. Uh, I'm going to just send out, pro oh, there's a lot of tired players there, so we should maybe rotate a little bit. Uh, Robertson's looking a bit knackered and such. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to bring in Chrissy Ayer into the team there. And we are also going to bring in Odds on Edouard to play in behind Dembele. See how that works out. Hopefully, um, that'll go alright. So, I don't know if it's going to work because he's a striker, but Odds on Edouard has scored four goals uh, in the past, you know, two games. So... He's on form, and at least it's given him a start along with Dembele, who is the top scorer in the league. But here we go, Premier League game against Hull. We should be winning either way. We have got a team that is more than capable of beating this Hull side. You look at that Hull team, you think to yourself, well, they, they should not be coming to Celtic Park to beat us. So let's just hope for the best and hope it doesn't backfire like a couple of games we have said this season. One, oh, for, for, it's gone, isn't it? There's a valuable lesson from these games. 
Don't sim. Oh, Dembele is equalised. There we go. 1-0. 2-1 oh, Hull. Oh, dear me. It's going to end the Hull win. It's going to be a Hull win. I don't believe this. Oh, we have just been beating off Hull at home. What the fuck's that about? A piss poor result, to say the least. A very bad result. Now we have West Brom away from home. Going to be playing incredibly defensive football. We need to win the three points. I was hoping this episode I would go unbeaten. And we wouldn't drop... A massive amount of points. Maybe we get, you know, 10 out of 12 if we had to. Uh, but no. Max we can get now is 9. So let's go and get our second one of the episode. Hopefully that will go to plan. As for the team, I need to I need to start using some other people. So who can we bring in? Who should be brought in? Christy? No, 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 no. McLean will be on the bench. Don't know why. We need to take Nesbitt off the bench. Don't know why he's there. Brown is going to come back into the team for the first time in God knows how long. What? Oh, do you know what? I'm going to try something new. Something incredibly different. Incredibly experimental. We're going narrow. We're playing the two up front. Dembele and Edward. Let's hope it goes okay. Ayer and Holden will be the centre-halves today. And I'm looking forward to trying this out. Right, hopefully this time my voice doesn't keep dying on me, but we're at the Hawthorns to take on West Brom. Putting the pressure on and win the ball in a good position here and straight away. Dembele back heel, Tierney with a beautiful cross and Olivier Cham with an even better connection with the head. Fantastic cross from Tierney, fantastic work from the team in general to win the ball over on that right hand side of the park. And then Cham dives in to get the header. He was 100% committed to winning the header. And the West Brom defence had no chance of competing with the big man. Look at this. Dembele, lovely wee flick for Tierney. Tierney with a delicious cross and then Cham is there. Dives in. Gives his 100. Uh, all, more than 100% um, to get to the header. And he steals it into the bottom left hand corner. Ben Foster has no chance of picking it out. And there's Tony Pulis with his cap on. Very angry that his team have went down 1-0. But, I mean, it was a, a rather strange portion of the game. We go up 1-0. West Brom now having to obviously fire back. And Tony Pulis sending out his team straight away to do so. As they go on an attack here. And there's a very good chance to create a ball over. Fantastic touchdown pass made. And bang. Oh my god. Great goal from West Brom. Not much I can do about it. And uh, straight after we score, they go up the park. And they get one back. Literally seconds. Uh... I don't know what to compare that to. It's, you know, you couldn't even get turned in the quicksand timer. Uh, it was an unbelievable bit of crossing, an unbelievable touch brought down. Uh, just an overall good goal. Look at that. That touch, that pass, that first time pass is brilliant. And uh, Rodriguez makes it 1 all, which means we had to try and get the league back. But first half, quite bland. Second half, we go into it, and we're going to try a bit of them straight from kickoff. Can we do something similar? Tierney gives it to Davies. Davies for Armstrong. Armstrong sees Dembele. He will give it to Dembele. He gets to it. It's rolling in. What's happening? We get a penalty. Ben Foster committed a foul. The referee was going to let it try and roll into the net, but... Changed his mind to Dembele to step up and score another goal in his fantastic season. Musa, Dembele, strike. It's, it's lucky. It's lucky. Very lucky. But it is indeed 2-1. Musa Dembele gives us the lead at the Hawthorns. The second time in the game we take the lead uh, in front of the West Brom crowd. Very lucky the way it went in there. Ben Foster did in fact get an arm to it. But Musa Dembele's strike was too powerful for him to keep out. And at the end of the day, it's in the back of the net. I'm not going to complain. We're up 2-1 at the Hall Forms. A difficult place to play. Uh, and, and if it continues like this, it is a decent result to take. We really should go and make it 3-1 at this point is what the thought is in my mind. So we could try to do that. Brown with a through ball for Davies who plays a through ball to Dembele. Dembele's got work to do. He sees a shot. It potentially curls it. hits the post. Armstrong surely. What is he? hitting that, he's in it out of the stadium, don't know why he's doing well, and uh, really cost us the chance to go up 3-1, and we would, we would, uh, would regret that, as you can see there, Matt Phillips, 90th minute equaliser, Matt fucking Phillips, a kick in the balls, if you ask me, but uh, a result we'll need to take on the chin, but points dropped, not when you want to drop them, and we should have been more clinical. Another disappointing result, and it, it's brought t today's tally so far at nine points. We've picked up four. Uh, it was just West Brom were just so much more critical. That narrow formation just did not work. We're not going to be using that again anytime soon. It was an awful decision. I don't know why I stuck to it throughout the game. And now we find ourselves in a desperate position to win this last game against Crystal Palace. We just absolutely destroyed them at Selhurst, Selhurst Park. 4 1. We beat them. So, I mean, come on. I mean, if we're simming this, we've got to be okay. We're sending out the strongest team pretty much. Uh, we'll quickly have a look at the table heading into it. 25 games played. We're sitting ninth. 
We have played an extra game and a lot of the teams above us, so this could be quite misleading. But we have played Crystal Palace three times this season. Three times we have beat them. This is the fourth time we have played them this season, all competitions. We have to beat them. We should be beating them. And if we don't, I'll be very questionable. So here we go. Just got to sit at the end. 2-1. Fantastic. I'm happy with that. And Cham and uh, Dembele getting the goals. Fantastic result because, you know, we, we kind of needed it after dropping points two games in a row there. So... How many points we pick up? 7 out of 12. I wanted at least 9. So I'll settle for it. But the next episode is a big one. The first cup final of the career mode as we take on Southampton at Wembley in the Carabao Cup final. Make sure you do not miss it. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you hit like, subscribe, hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time.